This demonstration covers how to install the VX Rail appliance. Power on each node in the order of 4, 3, 2, and then 1, waiting at least 20 seconds between each power on. Next, you will need to set the management VLAN if the customer is not using the default VLAN. Log into the BIOS and go down to troubleshooting options and, and set the ESXi shell to enabled. Hit the Alt F1 and enter the username password according to the procedures. Next, set the management VLAN according to these steps. You also need to execute this command in order to restart Loudmouth. Repeat this process for the other three remaining nodes. Next, bring up a browser and point it to the initial IP address to start the installation process. Next, select Get Started. Next, accept the license agreement. Select these two boxes to indicate that they've been performed and select Next. Next, select Step by Step to configure. Enter the required information from the customer's pre-site checklist into the appropriate boxes. For the management tab, enter the required host name and IP addresses according to the pre-site checklist. For the VMware vMotion, a private IP address scheme can be used for vMotion settings. The same also applies to VMware Virtual SAN as well. For VM networks, at least one VM network setting must be entered. You're allowed up to five VM networks in all. For the solution tab, a locked server is required. A customer's existing syslog server can be used. Otherwise, logged insights can be deployed instead. The validation tab checks all the information entered in the previous screens. If any errors are detected, they are summarized in red text on the screen. If no errors are detected, select Build VX Rail to begin the process. The first screen displays the IP address that was assigned to the VX Rail Manager. This is the IP address that we use going forward to manage the VX Rail appliance. The system will display the process as it installs and deploys the VX Rail appliance. You can also open up another tab in your browser to view the detailed progress as well. You must continue to hit the F5 key and the N key in order to get to the latest information. When the system has completed the installation, click on the Manage VX Rail to complete the deployment. Log on to the VX Rail Manager and authenticate. You will need to hit the F5 key to continue to refresh until the EMC tab is displayed. Once the EMC has appeared, click on that to complete the VX Manager extension. Next, review the license agreement and select Accept. On the next screen, select Yes, Let's Finish to complete the installation. On this screen, enter the vCenter IP address along with the DNS as well as the vCenter and ESXi passwords.
Next, authenticate with the VX Manager extension and click on Authenticate. Your VX Rail appliance configuration and build is now completed. This concludes the demonstration of how to install a VX Rail appliance.